Hi everyone and welcome to In or Out Ministries. First, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Margaret Rose Cools Latigue, or Minister Margaret Rose, or Minister Margaret, whichever way you feel comfortable with, it's really not that important. What's important is that I am a servant of the Lord, obeying the call to serve. I know that some of you must be curious to know where I originate from. I was born and raised on the island of Dominica in the Caribbean, which is not the Dominican Republic. My island is actually in between Martinique and Guadeloupe, which are two French islands of the Caribbean. I currently reside in Florida, USA. So in 1985, I was crowned Miss Dominica and was honored to be an ambassador to my country for one year including being the only representative thus far to participate in the Miss Universe pageant in that same year. I'm a single mom of three daughters, I would say beautiful daughters. I have one son-in-law whom I love dearly, one grandson and one granddaughter, and I look forward to having many more grands. I have completed my bachelor's in business administration with a concentration in health services management and a master's degree in public administration with a concentration in non-profit management but that's neither here or there when it comes to the kingdom of god we don't need educational degrees all we need is the holy spirit to ascertain all wisdom and knowledge which we will soon find out the word in Zechariah 4 and 6 says, So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. So by now, so, so it's not how many educational degrees you have, or how many years you've been a pastor or a bishop or even a priest or how large your congregation is but it's by my spirit says the lord so let me share a little bit of my journey with you i say a little bit because there's a lot to share and i'll tell you why however i will reveal my testimony in bits and pieces as the holy spirit allows in all my teachings to come you see God took his time with me I got saved and baptized in water in 2009 at the age of 45 at a very small seven days Adventist Church in Riverdale Georgia I was extremely hurt from a series of broken relationships throughout the years being used and abused physically mentally and emotionally I was totally blind then with no guidance looking for love in all the wrong places but I am grateful because this hurt and pain was all part of my journey in finding the greatest love of all which is only found in Jesus Christ and my whole life is a testimony of that Romans 8 and 28 says, And we know that all things work together for those who love God to those who are the called according to His purpose. My heart has been broken many times. And the last broken heart, or as we say in Dominica, in Creole, go well, hurt so much because I had built a wall around me a resistance where no one could come in it was like a force field a love repellent and i fueled it with alcohol and partying and reveling and smoking and sex having a good flesh time a butter as we say all the worldly temporal feel good antidotes that we use to cover up our pain so this last time, 
I allowed this individual to come through my barrier. I bared my heart and soul, not knowing that this person was like the same serpent found in the Garden of Eden, pleasing to the eyes and desires of the flesh, but subtle, a smooth talker, saying all the right things, but a deceiver with no good intentions but to destroy. Anyway, what is hidden must eventually come to light. And it hurt so bad, I actually felt a physical pain inside my heart. The memory has stayed with my last baby. She has never forgotten that moment of me laying on the bathroom floor screaming in pain. I want to take this opportunity to openly forgive all individuals that have hurt me and my children. I also ask for forgiveness from all individuals that I may have caused hurt or caused them and their loved ones any pain. I pray that they have, I pray that if they have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that the Holy Spirit will give them a soul encounter and reveal himself to them. And for those who have, that we are thankful for the blood of Jesus that washes us whiter than snow and creates in us a clean heart in Psalm 51. So, I want to go back to the remedy of covering up my saw or my bobo, as we say on the island. I was tired of the drinking and everything else that came along with it. I thought this time, you know what, instead of doing all of that, I will go to a psychologist, not knowing that God had a better plan for me. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, before I formed you in my mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. I am grateful to God Almighty for two very special people he sent to me in my life. My very, very, very dear friends. I refer to them as my elders and my spiritual parents. Olivia and Bayi Sebahivi. For years, Baye and Olivia was depositing wisdom in my spirit from the word of God. So you see, God sees your heart and my heart was receiving his word. It didn't matter what was happening on the outside. He was drawing me closer and closer. I went to Olivia and I poured out my broken heart to her. And she said in her British accent, Margaret Rose, you don't need a psychologist. Jesus is your psychologist. And she went on to give me her testimony. And it made me realize that I was not alone. You see, everyone has a testimony. You have a testimony. Olivia shared who Jesus was with me. And Baye continued to fill me up with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the truth. And I began to draw closer and closer in my heart. My outward didn't change much, but my heart was being prepared to receive the greatest gift of all, which is salvation. They invited me to church, their church. I was so taken aback as I have never been to a Christian church before. They were loud and praising God, hands up in the air, and the message was so vibrant and deeply rooted in the word. You see, being a Roman Catholic, I was used to bowing my head in silence, very quietly, following the mass and accepting the sacraments like First Communion and Confirmation, saying the rosary and whispering a prayer. I kept going back to the Christian church as I myself am a vibrant person and loved the worship and praise and the word just fed my spirit. 
I found a church which was closer to my home, right around the corner where I lived, and started attending Bible study services on a regular basis, and the, 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 the other services, just filling up. Then one day at service, the worship was extremely high, and the preacher preached a word that pierced right through my heart. And he made an altar call. And I felt my body just lift up from that chair to stand up. And I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. At that little seven days Adventist church in Riverdale, Georgia. From then on, my chain started from the inside out. I was being pruned and shaped and molded, and it certainly didn't happen overnight. It wasn't too sure to flam, as we say again in Creole, like diving head in first. I saturated myself with the word of God in every single way I possibly could. On top of it, I discovered that there was Christian TV. I had no idea. TBN it was in those days. I was glued, just soaking and basking in the knowledge of God. I still drank alcohol, sometimes I still smoked, I still went to carnival, still partied, but I found that my taste was changing. I even met this one young fellow that I really liked, but I was cautious this time. I thought he was sent by God, but it didn't work out that way. It wasn't so. But today, we are distant friends today, respecting each other. With the wisdom and knowledge I have today, it was easier to understand this whole situation with the relationship and just to let go. I felt less and less interested in the temporal fixes of this world. The friends I had surrounded myself with all fizzled away. I finally understood what the saying, birds of a feather flock together meant. Thank you, Sean, my cousin, for sticking with me through thick and thin. May God continue to bless you and may you be covered under the covenant blood of Jesus Christ. May you dream dreams and may he reveal himself to you. As I began to feed my spirit man, my flesh, fleshly desires got less and less, and my spirit demanded more and more on the word. I couldn't get enough. I just kept an open heart. In growing, I always had this curiosity, or in growing up, I always had this curiosity on wanting to know more about God and about the Bible. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. Matthew 7, 7 and 8 says, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. For everyone that seeketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. I continue to seek God and just pouring, and he just poured more and more into me, bringing me from glory to glory. Hallelujah. I then moved to Orlando, Florida, and was led to the Tabernacle of Glory Apostolic Church, Togak under the leadership of pastors Robert and Erica Young, great teachers. There, I was baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. As I grew with my walk in, with God, I was called to ministry and was transitioned by the Holy Spirit to the House of David School of Ministry. I completed the Aspiring Ministers program and was ordained in 2015. And I just want to add here, I was so grateful for what God had done in my life. I wanted to give back something to him. 
So on the day that I was ordained as a minister and a servant of the Lord, I decided to make a vow never to put alcohol in my mouth again, which I love dearly. And so from 2015, I think it was September of 2015, I have never touched an alcoholic drink and will never touch an alcoholic drink again. I now sit under the anointing teachings of Bishop Tony Owens and Pastor Senior Owens, his wife, of the House of David. As a minister, I am devoted to fulfilling God's call on my life as an evangelist and teacher in the fivefold ministry of Ephesians 4 and 11. God used particular individuals to strengthen my walk and most importantly as a prayer warrior. I would like to mention of course Olivia and Baye Sebahive, Pastor Sims, Pastor Tanya Jones, my dear friend Paula Blatcher, Melissa Green, my cousin, Pastors Robert and Erica Young, Pastor Forbes and members of my Togak family. But most of all, Minister Jennifer Abraham, who the Holy Spirit sent to me to ignite my, the fire in my belly and to teach me how to lift my head up, raise my hands and open my mouth to pray. I am so grateful for her ministry of praying mothers with Sister Zelina and Sister Patricia. You see, I was brought up as a Roman Catholic and at that time there was not much of Bible studies being encouraged. Most of the teachings were concentrated around the Mass and different sacraments like First Communion and Confirmation. So I was always taught to keep my mouth closed and it was very difficult to open up my mouth in prayer. So it took some time it didn't happen overnight but now today i can say that i am an intercessor a watchman on the wall i am part of the intercessory prayer team of the house of david under the leadership of elder Gwinnett, a powerhouse charged with the fire of the holy ghost we hold up the hands of the bishop, of my bishop and my pastor and their family. We hold up the hands of the elders and the ministers and I intercede for the schools of the ministry and the members of the church. I am grateful to be in the midst of these great prayer warriors of the house of David and intercessory prayer team. God has, has exalted me and even assigned souls who have reached out to me who I minister to and pray and I cover. God is just truly amazing. I am a living testimony of that. And I'm sure you can agree with me too, for those who know me and for those who know where I came from. So in 2015, the Holy Spirit revealed to me a message to take to the world. It's either you're in or it's either you're out. Hashtag, no shades of gray. You see, my journey up to the age of 45 years when I got saved was not in vain. My youngest daughter got baptized in water together with me at the age of nine. She got saved and baptized with the Holy Spirit and the evidence of speaking in tongues at age 12. Her purpose and calling is different from mine. But God wanted and took his time with me and let me go through all this tribulation and trials for 45 years before he pulled me out of darkness into his marvelous light. And then he plummeted me. He threw me like a rocket in a short period of time to the level I am at right now because he knew the plans he had for me, which was to go into the world and preach the gospel, sharing my many testimonies to the souls that can be saved, to save souls. Hallelujah. Which is the great commandment that we all have. Everywhere I have been, 
and every person that I have come into contact with from birth, good or bad, has been strategically placed in my life for this time and this purpose and I am grateful to God Almighty for that. Hallelujah. I want to take this opportunity to recognize amongst the many from TBN and from Churches Our Visitors, significant teachers on my journey which has left an impact and still impacting on my spiritual walk. First of all, Elder Baye Sebahive, Pastor Robert Young from Togak, Bishop Tony Owens from Tony Owens Ministries and the House of David, Benny Hain and Minister Kevin L.A. Ewing. Also in this season, God has sent Apostle Sandra Gregoire from the House of Prayer in Dominica and the Global Prayer Network to lead me into, I say, the next level. Minister James Singer, my dear friend, a special thank you for battling on my, on my behalf. A demon slayer, a demon terrorist, thank you for the protection and encouragement that you have shown to me. You will be blessed tremendously. I would also like to thank Oksana Tadami for putting together the ministry website and Facebook page. Daniel Tadami, her husband, for working with me on some of the videos. And I would like you to check out their ministry called The Tadamies, a very special young couple on fire for God and working in the kingdom tirelessly. If I have not mentioned your name at this time, please forgive me. Surely I will, at the opportune moment, remember your name and to mention you as the Holy Spirit leads in my future messages. I want to thank God for placing each and every one of you in my life. So In and Out Ministries is focused on delivering the real and raw truth of the gospel to the Laodicean lukewarm church. The vision is to deliver the unadulterated word of God. The Bible says in Revelation 3 and 16, So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. In a culture that promotes a God who is okay with us living however we want, we must deliver the truth to others that there are no shades of gray. There is only black or white. Either you're in or either you're out. Hashtag in or out. Hosea 4 and 6 says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, All I will also reject you from being priest for me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. Oh my God. No, 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 no. We have to do everything in our power to prevent that. And that is by delivering the truth, the word of God. Inner Out Ministry is an outlet to reach humanity via visual messages, artistic content, and tent teachings and prayers through Facebook Live, YouTube, Periscope, Instagram, and outreach programs. All information will be on the website, which is www.innerouteministries.com and the Facebook page ministry and can also be used for communication. So all details will be placed on the website. I am open to speaking or teaching at any event as the Holy Spirit leads. I know that I know that I know that I know that I am called to teach in Dominica, my homeland. So keep a watchful eye for the date, time, and place when this is going to be happening. This is going to be a real, real testimony and revelation of God's work on this earth. I can tell you that. So I look forward to sharing my testimonies with you and the word of God. 
just as how it was done for me. Um, I most likely will be bringing out a message. I am shooting at every two weeks and until God, um, the Holy Spirit moves it maybe every week, but from now on, most likely every two weeks. For those who know me, they know I have always been a straight up person. What you see is what you get, live and direct, open and honest. Just an FYI, for the social media philosophers, I do not argue the Bible. When it comes to the word of God, it's the whole truth and nothing but the truth directly from the word of God. You can reach out to me privately with questions and I will do my best to respond with a rhema word from God and not my own opinion. This ministry is also not to gain any fame or fortune. If you wish to donate funds or services to the ministry to support the word going out, because nothing is for free in this world we live in, you may do so and it will be greatly rewarded. In Matthew 6, 19 and 21, the word says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Hallelujah. This ministry is being created to touch hearts and souls. For the word of God says in Mark 8 and 36, For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his own soul? I am not losing my soul for no one. I am heaven bound. And I wish the same for you also. I have decided to follow Jesus and there is no turning back for me. So I look forward to sharing. I pray that you will be blessed by this ministry in Jesus mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. I say one love and shalom. Peace. Bless you.